Hi, this is Scott Helfrey with the Bismarck State College Instructional Technology Center. And today, in this lesson, I want to go over um, just some general uh, interface features or a general interface tour uh, for eCollege and eCompanion. Before I get started, what I'd like to cover real quick is the difference between eCollege and eCompanion because they can be used interchangeably, although they are slightly different. Um, the difference between eCollege and eCompanion is where eCompanion or an eCompanion shell is designed to be used in conjunction with or a companion to an on-campus or traditional course. So while the basics of it are the same, there are a few features uh, that are not included in an e-companion shell that are in e-college. Specifically, e-companion will not have the class live feature, uh, which we won't get into, but I will will touch on briefly, uh, which basically allows for synchronous um, interaction between an instructor and the class and it does not allow um, for you to be able to lock down the shell uh, during testing so that a student cannot access other files on their computer or browse the internet. But for the sake of these videos um, I will be referring most likely simply uh, to eCollege as the platform that we're using uh, since they are the same uh, essentially except for those two physical differences <clears throat> excuse me in addition to the differences in how they are used so the first thing I'd like to cover is just show you a uh, class that is actually up and running right now and just some of the basic interface features um, that are there okay, I guess one thing I should probably backtrack a little bit is this is assuming that uh, or at least this video is assuming that you have already completed the first video which was logging in so we have logged in and we've gone into um, a course and in this particular course, it's pretty well already flushed out with content. In the center section of the content area, we are currently at the course home. As you can see, it's indicated uh, on top. In the course home, towards the top, will be the class announcements. Now, the class announcements are simply that, announcements that you can set up uh, so that you can disseminate information quickly to your students within your course shell. They will always be at the top. Now directly below those is a section where you can place welcome content or any other kind of content that would be static. Maybe not necessarily part of the actual course, something that lets the student know exactly what it is they're getting into possibly. Below that is this another dynamic section, somewhat like the announcements. It's a what's new section. This will alert whoever logs in what content may be new in the course shell. So say you had a discussion thread set up, or possibly you added a quiz, something along those lines. If that was new to me as I logged in, I would see this located in this section to let me know that something had changed. Below the What's New section is a course checklist, which you may or may not elect to use. And it's self-descriptive. It is a checklist for you to set up for the student so they can see what it is that they need to do um, to be successful in your course. So when we log in and go to the course home, this is what every student is going to see. Now obviously it's going to change depending upon the course that you're in, um, but the, the premise is, is consistent regardless of whether or not you're in an eCollege eCompanion course or from eCollege course to eCollege course. Now up at the top is another group of tools and it's indicated by tools. Course admin this section, if you go in here, this actually allows you to administer global settings across your course. The gradebook, uh, for the purpose of these video tutorials, we're not going to be going into the gradebook. We're, we are planning an, an advanced set of tutorials uh, that will cover this uh, at a later date. The email section allows you to email one or all of your students, or I should say any number or all of your students. Class Live. This is one of the sections that's not available in eCompanion, but is a synchronous tool for you to meet with your students. In other words, you and your students all online at the same time interacting. Doc sharing, pretty much like it sounds, it allows you to upload documents and share them with your class. A nice feature about this, we'll, I will get into this later on, is it also allows you to see whether or not your students have actually downloaded a particular document or not. It doesn't let you know if they read it, but it lets you know that they at least got it. The Dropbox is a tool for uh, turning in assignments in a nutshell. It allows your students to return documents back to you. Uh, journal is just as it sounds. It's for journaling um, thoughts and etc. Uh, either for you or your students and keeping track of it. 
And the Webliography is a section that allows you to uh, distribute web links to your students, basically use as a repository or a reference. And then you also have a help section. Now, over on the left-hand side of the screen, we have the Units and Contents section or the Navigation menu. Currently, you see both a Course tab and an Author tab, but that's because I'm logged in and I have Author Rights. A student is simply going to have the Course tab. You have the Course Home section is always going to be located at the top. If we spin this open, we can see the content items that have been added under this unit. These are completely up to you with the exception of the syllabus. Course Home and Syllabus will always be there. Everything else is up to you. This particular section also has eight units, and I can click on a unit, and you can also see there's several items underneath Unit 1 as I've spun that open. Clicking on Unit 1 will also then change the focus of what's in the main content area. So now we've gone from Course Home to the Unit 1 content text as well. Below the Units and Content section, or right towards the bottom, rather, of the Units and Content section, are also four icons. A double set of arrows pointing left, which will hide the Units and Content section, or the Navigation section. If I click on them, it collapses, giving a little bit more room to the main content area. The icons are moved towards the top. The arrows that pointed to the left now point to the right. I can click on them, and it opens it back up. The second icon is a house. And what that does is it allows you to exit the current course that you're in, but does not log you out of the eCollege system. So if you are registered for more than one class as a student, or if you're an instructor and you have more than one class set up, this allows you to exit this course and then go into another one. The next one is a little key. That one actually will log you out of eCollege system. If you click that one, not only leave your course, but you also leave eCollege. And the last one is like uh, it's supposed to be a little person, I believe, and that's user settings. So that is an outline of what a course can look like when it's all fleshed out. What I want to show you quickly is what a brand new course looks like when you go into it. Here's a brand new course, no content whatsoever. So you can see we have the course home and the syllabus. The course home has given us this content area with basically nothing in it. We can see announcements. This is the main content area. I've actually just typed in the words main content, otherwise it would be empty and you wouldn't have a visual as far as where your content would go. Here's the what's new section. Obviously there's nothing here because this is an empty shell. Uh, and of course checklist. Again, it's also empty because there is no checklist, it's an empty shell. Over in the units and content section, we have course home and syllabus, as I told you, always exist. And then we still have our navigation area up top as well with the tool, or I should say the tools area. So this is what you'll see when you log into a brand new shell that you have done absolutely nothing to. So don't be dismayed or confused expecting to see something like this when this is exactly what you should see. Okay, so that concludes our general interface tour of e